Bidile Chitongo le Wachita Program Center for Reconciliation. Guno gwe mulundi gwa fogo kubiri nga tu kwasaganya ne banaffe abavva mu mawanga amanji okujja gabanyonyo obudamu. Fe twasala wo kubera nga tutambula nabo kubanga tumanyi dala mbu abantu bana abayingire gwanga tubalabange ekyo muwendo ne se ekyo kozesebwa. Ebisere ebisinga abantu ne bitongere ebisinga biba kozesanga ekintu kye bafuna mu sente. Na ye fe tugezeza kunyo kulabanga tutambula nabo mu byabo byonaye bakola so gwe mulanga gwange buli muntu yena alabo omuntu yena anyonyo obudamu gonna wali obango inabo okolera mu bade mbasaba ngafe bana Uganda tulabenga tubateka mu mu ngeri yonna jitukola mu tuba tuli mu kitongole tubagate we are celebrating uh, the international refugee day and this is really a very very important day for for us for myself and for the 1.5 million who are hosted so far here in Uganda so the day is really very important for us because you know we are here to celebrate the uh, the resilience of uh, so many refugees who have been here as you know Uganda is hosting refugees coming from almost all the neighboring countries. To the government of Uganda for their open door policy, because, because uh, Uganda has never closed the doors to refugees. But at the same time, we also understand that uh, refugees are facing so many issues and uh, challenges here uh, in their daily uh, living. That is why today we are coming and saying nothing about us without us. Because we really want refugees to be... Um, to be included in the decision making uh, and especially when uh, there is a discussion affecting their life that's going to make sure that uh, all the big the, the big challenges that refugees are facing they are really put on the table and the refugees are around the table to discuss and try to be part of uh, the decision when it comes to those uh, decisions so well, most of the time that they plan for us and they don't consult us before co consulting and that is the reason why we come we came up with this uh, uh, theme of the uh, nothing f uh, about us without us so we are calling up all the international organization UNCR, OPM before they plan they have to include us we may find that we have that um, challenges whereby you find that even uh, our husband and brother you find that they don't want to you know to rely like from the setting, they don't want to, to accommodate this uh, new uh, home that has hosted us, you know. You find that for them they are still in the same cultural context, like I think that I'm still in Burundi with like this and this, so even here in Uganda I'm supposed to be like this. So you find that as women we are facing a lot of challenges and also I'm calling up another challenge is about the equal opportunity people out there to come and start supporting women and girls because these are the nation of the uh, the mother of the nations. Once once you don't empower women, how are you going to empower your nation? So let us start empowering these women and girls when they are still at level at young at young age so that like in a, supporting them when, when it comes to education, they have access equal access to education when there is a Job opportunities as refugees, we, do, we all, all know that. Uh, Calling on also the inclusion of young people, thinking about the young persons who's, who have been left behind for a really long time, considering the education, considering the recreation, considering also opportunities that help them rebuild themselves and also grow as, as individuals.